Calgary, Alberta is home to renowned museums full of extraordinary artifacts with secrets just waiting to be discovered. It's the best preserved armored dinosaur in the world. It's Alberta's oldest dinosaur. It's like a mummified dinosaur. It's like seeing a dinosaur just sleeping in front of you. After a one in a billion discovery is made at a Suncor mining site in Northern Alberta, the scientists from the Royal Tyrrell Museum knew they had something special, but they had no idea just how special. When the noticer was first reported to the museum, we thought it might be a marine reptile because it was marine rocks, and this is areas where uh, marine reptiles had been found in high abundance previously. But the crew on the ground figured out that it was an armored dinosaur quite quickly, and that was a real surprise because it was an animal outside of its environment where it lived. We'd never had anything that far north, and we knew this had to go to the front of the prep queue. It came to the museum in a series of like large blocks, every block weighing a couple tons, and the rock was very hard, and the fossil bone material itself was very soft and powdery, um, so very difficult to expose the bone itself. As Mark Mitchell works diligently to separate the animal from the rock, scientists from around the globe quickly took notice of all the discoveries being made here in Alberta, each breakthrough more exciting than the last. Notosaur is, is a great opportunity for paleontology research. We have uh, not just the skeleton preserved, we have all of the skin preserved, and it's in three dimensions. So we actually get a good idea of what the animal looked like. I've been calling it the Rosetta Stone for interpreting armored dinosaur armor position, because it's a standard and people will be referring to it for years. Alberta has an amazing fossil resource, and uh, the Royal Trail Museum is great because it keeps that fossil resource local. And it's an amazing resource for anyone in the province to come travel to the museum and learn about their shared fossil heritage. After over seven years of dedicated research, the Mona Lisa of dinosaur fossils is one of the many incredible attractions at the Royal Tyrrell Museum, which welcomes visitors from around the world. But how does a new dinosaur get its name? When we compared the shape of the bones and some of the morphologies, we found that there were some consistent differences from closely related animals. So based on that, we named it a new uh, genus and species, and that is Borealopelta Mark Micheli. So Borealopelta means northern shield, and Mark Micheli honors Mark Mitchell, who committed uh, about 7,000 hours over about five years working on pretty much nothing else. He's a very dedicated technician. The researchers called me up in their office and revealed that they were going to name it after me for all the years of work I put onto it. And then I was like, yes. Um, yeah, because I've been interested in dinosaurs since I was five years old. So this is like a dream come true. The best way to experience Borealopelta Mark Micheli is the old fashioned way with your own two eyes. I think it's a game changer in terms of actually seeing what a dinosaur looks like. You're not looking at a skeleton of a dinosaur, you're looking at a dinosaur preserved in 3D with all of its skin there. What I really like about this dinosaur is it's, it's just so well preserved. It's like a mummified dinosaur. It's like seeing a dinosaur just sleeping in front of you. I've always liked monsters and alien creatures ever since I was little, and dinosaurs are like monsters that really lived, and you can go and find them for real. You have to be here to see it. Uncover the holy grail of dinosaur fossils for yourself with a visit to the Royal Tyrrell Museum. In just a 90-minute drive from Calgary, Alberta, you can come face-to-face -face with a monster in the flesh and live to talk about it.